percent of value at Ripple, we're thinking much bigger than just cross-border payments. It's kind of like Amazon with rare books in the early days. Just this market happens to be a $10 trillion market. We are at a historic turning point. Said in the past that you are doing for money what email did for communication. It's moving the whole revolution forward. There's trillions of dollars parked around the world. RP. Is there a possibility that Ripple could take over Swift one day? Well, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. So, so far, let's get right into today's video. Fasten your seatbelts because when XRP comes and overtakes Bitcoin, the entire world is going to be completely shocked. In today's episode, we're going to get into a clip by Michael Saylor, a billionaire, but very, very stupid. A very stupid billionaire. Um, and then we're going to get into Jamie Dimon pretty much leaking the future of a valuable crypto. And the writing's on the wall. When will people understand? Before we get into the episode, the whale has made another move, but I will not be announcing the video. I'm not going to be doing any more of those videos where I make it and then take it down. Everybody that got a chance to look at those videos, you guys are all in the green and we are just getting started in my opinion. Uh, but there is a brand new coin that was just released seven hours ago. And I just want to bring this to your attention because the whale bought it as soon as it came out pretty much on the first hour. And I don't own a lot of this because I wasn't able to get a lot. I honestly have, uh, you know what? It, everything will be disclosed in the Whale Watcher report. Link in the description down below, $7. I was trying to make it $7.99, but I'm not sure why it says $7.32, but it is what it is. $7.32. Link in the description down below. This coin just came out. Okay, and if you guys are interested in knowing what coin this is, link in the description down below, and let's continue on to today's episode. Historical snapshots back from 2015. If you guys don't know, please know this. This is very important. Bitcoin and Ethereum were always top two for a very, very long time. And even going into 2016, we have XRP again, Bitcoin and XRP top two. You cannot sit there and tell me an asset like XRP, given the partnerships, given the utility, given all the governmental organizations that are incorporated with Ripple and XRP and what they're planning. You cannot sit there and tell me this is not going to 10, 20, 30, 40, $100. Ethereum, the most corrupt asset, went from you know what? Let's go lower. Went from 63 cents to over $5,000. Bitcoin, where everybody thinks it's a Ponzi scheme, in my opinion, it's not going to last long. It will go to 300, 400,000, 500,000. I do hold Bitcoin, uh, but Bitcoin is an appster. Bitcoin went from $247 or from a dollar to $74,000. And it's only going to go higher. And I'm telling you, this is going to age really well whenever it does. But XRP will overtake Bitcoin. XRP will become number one because it actually has real world use case. Jamie Dimon already knows as well what's happening behind the scenes. If you mean crypto like Bitcoin, I've always said it's a fraud. Uh, there so are, no hope for it. Well, if, it's, if they think they're a currency, there's no hope for it. It's a Ponzi scheme. It's a public decentralized Ponzi. If it's a crypto coin that can do something, if it's a crypto coin that can do something, like you know, a smart contract, that has value. There will be smart contracts, and blockchain works. So the extent crypto is accessing certain blockchain things, yeah, that might have some value. If it's a crypto that can actually do something, and XRP can do a lot of things, Go ahead and smash that like button. And now listen to what Michael Saylor has to say. This is, it's hard to listen to. I'm not going to lie. I had trouble listening to it because it is just, I mean, when people came really call XRP holders maxis, but this is beyond maxi. I don't even know what you call this. Let me know in the comments down below, but this is disgusting. He's right in a way, but the fact that he doesn't know the difference between Ripple and XRP, I'll play the video in a sec. Uh, but he's right about the other assets. When Ethereum is not going to be approved, sometime this summer it'll be very clear to everyone that Ethereum is deemed a crypto asset security, not a commodity. After that, you're going to see that Ethereum, BNB, Solana, Ripple, Cardano, 
everything down the stack is just a crypto asset security unregistered. <laughs> Ripple. Crypto <laughs> asset security unregistered. In three years in the making here, uh, Ripple didn't violate securities uh, by selling XRP on public exchanges was the ruling security. So that really does bring the role of the SEC into question. If uh, XRP isn't a security, what power does the SEC have over the crypto industry? Now, it's, it is a grey area because... None of them will ever be wrapped by a spot ETF None of them will be accepted by Wall Street. None of them will be accepted by mainstream institutional investors as crypto assets. This is the one universal consensus accepted institutional grade crypto asset in the world. For you, it's XRP and Ripple the same thing? They are both unregistered securities. Uh, XRP and Ripple, uh, yeah. XRP is just the equity token of Ripple. Yeah. Yeah. I am extremely confused. It's 2024 and what is he doing on stage talking about Ripple being a security and then on the podcast, he doesn't know the difference between Ripple and XRP. But in regards to the other coins like Solana, Ethereum, Cardano, these assets have not been given the green light. And it is very important going into a regulated environment within the next couple months that xrp and bitcoin are going to be the only assets that have clarity and that it has huge upside potential xrp will have its etf this billionaire michael saylor just because he has billions in bitcoin doesn't mean he's smart whatsoever there's a lot of investors in crypto that just got lucky did he get lucky having billions no but eventually, his maxi outlook on Bitcoin will result in a very, very negative outlook for his whole company and himself as well. You got to be lopsided. You got to be neutral. I'm not an XRP maxi. I hold XRP. I hold Bitcoin. I hold 10 other coins. I hold meme coins. We need diversification. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. With that being said, I do appreciate every single one of you guys. And just know, don't ever listen to anybody that tells you XRP can't go to $5, 10 20 $30. Please, just do yourself a favor because that is a peasant and a waste of skin that is within your space telling you something that they don't even understand to understand. Okay? If they if they laugh at if they laugh at five, ten, fifteen, twenty dollars, oh boy, get that individual out of your life. Honestly, it's just that that is some negativity. That is some bad vibe energy that you just don't need around you. So with that being said, know what know what you hold. Sixty three cents to five thousand dollars for Ethereum. Ha! Huh, what a joke. What a joke. And there's if if you compare the utility aspect of XRP to Bitcoin and Ethereum and Litecoin, come on, it's a knee slapper. And if you guys are interested in the Whale Watcher, this won't be up for long. This will be getting deleted, this part right here. Uh, link in the description down below, and we'll be back with another video. With the thesis that crypto liquidity would eventually be able to support robust global payments, large payments. RippleNet was designed so that customers seeing the benefits of our fiat-based network could flip the switch to ODL once the market was mature enough. And this is exactly what's happening. Flip the switch. <laughs> I think what we're building has, you know, it's solving a real problem. And I think all of the tokens, my advice to anybody would be understand the utility. If there's real utility and there's real value being delivered to a real customer, there will be value in the token.